Hi friends, welcome to Brains Gossip. Today we are going to solve one of the most popular high school physics problem. The falling chain problem. Well, the statement of the problem is A chain AB of length L is located on a smooth horizontal tube so that its fraction of length H hangs freely and touches the surface of the table with its end B. At a certain moment, the end of the chain is set to free. Now, the problem is with what velocity the end of the chain slips out of the tube. Now, this is the schematic diagram of our problem. As mentioned in the statement, a pipe is placed at a height h from the surface and a chain is hanging from it and the end point of the chain is touching the ground. Now we will try to solve the problem. Here obviously we will consider the tube to be frictionless because the tube is described as smooth horizontal tube. So we see that the system could not be in the equilibrium because the frictional force might be the only option to resist against the mass of the chain hanging from there. But in our problem we have considered the tube to be frictionless. So the chain must have to fall. Now the question is what will be the nature of the motion? Do you know the answer? Well I have the answer. It's a problem relating to the mass variation. The mass which is responsible for the falling of the chain is of length h which is constant of motion. But the mass of the chain inside the tube is getting decreased in every moment. So we consider the length of the chain inside the tube is x. Thus we can write the differential equation as ma equal to f plus u dm dt. Here a is the acceleration of the system. dm dt is a change of mass and u is the initial velocity. Now for our problem u equal to 0. So we can write the tension in the chain in the form t equal to lambda x a. Here lambda is the mass per unit length which is equal to m by x. So, lambda by x represents the mass of the chain inside the tube. Similarly, for the overhanging part, we can write u equal to 0. Thus, ma equal to f or t equal to lambda hg minus lambda ha equal to lambda hg minus a. This is our equation number 2. Now from 1 and 2 we get lambda x plus h a equal to lambda h g or x plus h a equal to h g. Now we know acceleration equals du dt equal to du ds multiplied with ds dt. Now ds dt equal to u. So we can write a equal to u into du dt. Thus we can write x plus h v into dv by minus ds equal to gh. Here we have taken ds as negative because the length of the chain in the inside the tube get decreased with time. So we can write V D V equal to minus G H D X by X plus H. Now integrating both sides we get integration 0 to V V D V equal to minus G H integration L minus H to 0 D X by X plus H which is equal to gh multiplied with integration 0 to h dx by x plus h. 
or v square by 2 equal to gh log l by h or v equal to root over of 2 gh log l by h and that is all we wanted thanks a lot for watching